raise the sun and then die. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Soul Series bosses. This is your fate. For this list, we're taking a look at the bosses from the entire Souls saga, including Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, and Bloodborne. We're looking at the boss's reputation, ambiance, how fun the fight is, and the overall boss design. If you haven't played any of these games, be warned because there will be spoilers. Number 10, Flame Lurker, Demon Souls. The Flame Lurker may not be the biggest in the Soul series, but his speed and fiery presence make him one of the most intimidating bosses in the entire series. Coming at the player with both pounce attacks and huge area of effect fire blasts keeps the player moving and necessitates quick reflexes. Magic is the Flame Lurker's biggest weakness, so keep those soul arrows handy and make sure to keep your distance. Number 9, German, the first hunter, Bloodborne. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. One of the three possible final bosses in Bloodborne, don't let German's wheelchair fool you. This guy is an absolute menace. Arising from his chair in an almost picturesque field, German is fast and vicious. <laughs> giving you nary a chance to catch your breath, German can close distances quickly and fights more like a skilled human player than a video game boss. He is one of the most memorable NPCs in the game, and one of the most intense boss battles in the whole series. You'll need a lot of patience to take this guy down. A town of beasts. The perfect place for a hunter. Number 8, Knight Artorius. Dark Souls, Prepare to Die Edition. Also known as the Abyss Walker, Artorius is one of Lord Gwyn's four famous knights. Corrupted by the Abyss, Artorius sacrificed himself to save his beloved wolf companion Sif, but more on that later. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Thanks to the miracle of time travel, the player fights Artorius years before the events of the game. The fight to release Artorius from his curse is definitely a tough one, as his massive sword and leap attacks are hard to predict and to dodge. Number 7, The Pursuer, Dark Souls 2. Pursuer was once a knight tasked with hunting down and destroying rogue hollows. Now a hollow himself, the Pursuer ambushes the player at various stages throughout the game, and is a formidable and frustrating foe, especially for players new to the Souls experience. Watch out for his curse attacks, because when his sword glows blue, the lunge cannot be blocked, and will instantly turn the player hollow. Gliding around the battlefield, the Pursuer uses his Ultra Great Sword to smash the player apart with various combos and abilities. Number 6, Tower Knight, Demon Souls. Most of the boss battles in the Soul series are reminiscent of David and Goliath, but this fight embodies that fable most literally. The Tower Knight lives up to his name, as he is a gigantic armored knight whose weapons are his spear, shield, and bringing his boots down on your face. Crossbowmen line the walls of the battlefield as well, and they must be dealt with before you have any chance of taking down the boss himself. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, however, and after doing enough damage to his ankles, the Tower Knight will come crushing to the ground, giving the player to take out his head. Number 5, Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, Dark Souls. The final boss of Dark Souls, Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, was once a great warrior who rose to godhood, defeated the dragons, and linked the first flame to the world of man. And now you have to fight him. He's located in the kiln of the first flame, which is probably the most depressing area in the game 
accentuated by the sad piano music and stark imagery. Gwyn is armed with a flaming sword and fights with lightning speed, always doing his best to stay on top of the player. Furthermore, his pattern is almost random, and he reacts to the player's actions faster than any other enemy in the game. Number 4. Father Gaschione, Bloodborne Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them, sooner or later. Father Gaschione was once a hunter, husband, and father who succumbed to the plague and became a monster. A foreigner in the land of Yarnum, Gaschione fights much like a typical hunter, except much faster and has a strong aversion to fire. If you find one of his surviving children before the battle, she will give you a music box that his family used to remind him to come home during his hunts. If you find my mom, give her this music box. Using the music box during the battle will cause him to temporarily stop attacking and give you a chance to get in and get some serious damage done. Number 3. Burnt Ivory King Dark Souls 2 Crown of the Ivory King The Burnt Ivory King was once the ruler of the northern kingdom Elium Lois, and used to be a noble and just ruler. When the ancient chaos was discovered deep below the earth, threatening his kingdom, the king and his knights went into the chaos, never to return. The transition the player makes between the frozen kingdom of Lois to the fiery depths of the chaos is breathtaking. The fight itself is a battle, as the player is aided by the remaining Lois knights against the corrupted king and his bodyguards. The fight eventually comes down to just the player against the Burnt Ivory King, who uses magic attacks as well as brute force and speed. Number 2. Sif, the Great Grey Wolf, Dark Souls Probably one of the most tragic bosses in the game, the Great Grey Wolf Sif guards the grave of his former master, Artorius, who sacrificed himself to save Sif from corruption. Sif now wields his master's greatsword, using his jaws, and has huge sweeping attacks as well as a charge and other combos. Unlike most video game bosses who get stronger as the fight goes on, Sif will begin limping pitifully at low health, and is much less effective in his attacks. The fight is a painful reminder that the Soul series is as depressing as it is difficult, and will leave any animal lover emotionally drained. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Dragonslayer Ornstein and Executioner Smog, Dark Souls The battle against both Ornstein and Smog is arguably the most difficult and thus the most rewarding fight in the series. The Dragonslayer and Executioner must be fought at the same time, and upon defeating one, the other is fully healed and absorbs some of the powers of their fallen comrade. Ornstein is fast and fights with a lightning spear, while Smog is slow and uses a huge screw you hammer. The two have a lot of health and resistances, making the fight impossible to rush, teaching the player the value of patience and punishing anyone who lets their guard down for even a second. Ornstein and Smog are not only the best bosses of the entire Soul series, but one of the best video game bosses of all time. Do you agree with our list? It's wonderful. What's your favorite Soul Series boss battle? For more entertaining top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.
But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain.